Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to be creating another monkey and doing a remesh modifier. So let's turn our overlays back on. You can click this little button here. But what I like to do is do Alt Shift S and just bring everything back really quickly. And now we're going to take our original flexible design, right click and duplicate the collection. Now we have another one here. We'll just call this remesh. So now we have the remesh and we can do Suzanne.remesh. And now we can take our monkey and I'm gonna just do G and Y and move her back on the Y axis there. So grab on the Y and there we go. So what we're gonna do here is make sure you're on your little wrench modifiers tab and we're going to add a modifier right here in the middle called remesh. And this one's pretty heavy, so it may take a moment uh, to remesh your design here. So you can see it, it did something, something happened, but what really happened? So if we zoom in, um, I'm going to turn on wireframe. So go up to your overlays here and turn on wireframe. Notice we have, if you zoom in here, notice I'm like, I'm zooming into Suzanne, but I can't go any further. And that's because my, my view needs to be reset. So just hit period, you know, make sure you have the object selected and then do period on the numpad. And then you can, you know, really start zooming into your designs there. Um, and what the remesh is doing is remeshing the entire object. I use this sometime to like, um, you know, fix like really broken models that I found online. Uh, but um, it only works if your design is manifold. So this is working because our eyes are manifold, our head is manifold, they're all Boolean together properly. So we're getting this nice kind of remeshed um, design here. And really you can use this to kind of just create new geometry sometimes. Uh, we use it sometimes in sculpting. Another cool thing is it's got different um, options up here. And I like this one, this little blocks here. And notice it kind of looks like a Wreck-It Ralph or something. And you can change the octree depth and get different results uh, depending on how high you crank it. So even like something like this, I think looks really cool. Um, maybe somewhere around seven and we turn off our wireframe you can see we're getting like this really crazy looking result. And it looks like we did all this crazy box modeling and geometry work, but we didn't. We just added a remesh modifier and clicked blocks. You know, like it's very simple. And what's really awesome is that we can all still go back into edit mode, make any changes on either one of these meshes and the updates will happen instantly. So say if we wanted, um, you know, to grab the top point of her head and hit G and Z and bring it way up here. And then if we go back to object mode, looky there, we've got like this pyramid thing popping up on our head and it's doing it all in real time. You can even do it in edit mode like this, turn on this little guy here and it'll let you see the operation in edit mode. So you could be like, hmm, this looks kind of cool. What if I did it down here? What if I, what if I went inward? You know, and that's just, it's just crazy. It's amazing. So I'm just going to undo that. Um, but I just wanted you to see that everything in this workflow that I'm teaching you is super flexible and super cool. So I'm going to turn that back on. And now we've got our monkeys. Let's maybe recolor this to a different color. We can just subtract that. And we'll add a new color. And let's do maybe do like a little yellow here. And there we go. Now we've got our little blocks monkey. And it's kind of hard to see that way. So we can, you know, jump to our, our solid view there and kind of see what it will look like on all of these. Uh, you can even go to your EV render and that'll give you some of the shadows there. As long as you've got your studio turned on, you should be able to see nice studio lighting on your designs here. And we're getting there. We're getting some really cool designs. So go ahead and save that. And I want to show you a few more. So let's go ahead and dive into the next lessons. And we're going to show you some more modifiers.